Ladies and gentlemen, welcome home. Alaska here once again, bringing you another beautiful Battlefield 3 gameplay. Today we are doing an episode of Soldier's Choice. As it was first called, it is now going to be called from here on out Make Me Rage because the process of getting this footage with this weapon was enough to literally make me want to pull my hair out. I didn't realize or anticipate the combination of weapon, loadout, and map, and getting a decent gameplay on that map would be so tiring. But with my work schedule and my friend's schedules and the overall inability of some people to actually just play Battlefield when they own the game all the time, uh, it proved to be quite a chore to get all this. So from now on, the the way it's going to work out, we're going to change it to basically you describe the loadout you want, the primary, the secondary, the gadget, and the equipment, and I will use the one that has the most upvotes, and I will pick a game type or a, a map that I feel is, is suited for the loadout, and sometimes I'll do one that's not suited for the loadout and see if I can get a really hilarious gameplay. And then you'll hear me be really upset the whole entire time. So we have the AN94 today. I have a suppressor on it because it, the gun already has the, I believe, the highest recoil value off the first shot of any of the assault rifles. I think it's a .7 up. And I use the Cage 2002 most of the time, which has the lowest first shot recoil value. So getting used to this weapon, this is only the. I think this third hour I've been playing with the AN-94. Getting used to this weapon has proved to be... There's a real challenge coming from... Uh, from one burst fire weapon to another, both... Being on opposite ends of the spectrum as far as recoil goes. Then we have the 320 buckshot, which is amazing, except for situations like that where you can't aim. And... I don't remember what pistol I was using. I don't think I, need, I, don't think I got... I think I have my black boots so I exactly. This is Conquest Assault on Shark at Peninsula. Cut out the beginning of the match because it was actually quite lame. And that's the problem. Play for hours and hours to get a good... I feel like get a good match, and then stuff like this happens. If you, if you go back and rewind the video, because I'm really too lazy to do a still right now, just to show because it it's not that important, but I have 54% health when I jumped off that little ledge. Apparently I must have broken my leg in half and shards of the bone must have penetrated the bottom of my skull and killed me, impaling my brain because there is no way that a 15 foot fall should kill you in any game. I mean, I can understand, you know, hurting your knees, breaking your ankles, but killing you? Whatever, dice. It's okay. So the ANA4 getting back on that, it's, it's not a terrible weapon, but it is one that I do not enjoy in the slightest. The recoil value is too high in my opinion for the handling of the weapon. It has a very very hard um, upward right pull as well. This gun is an extremely accurate gun in real life. Um, very versatile. Anybody that's played Bad Company 2 prior to Battlefield 3 will understand that this gun was the uh, assault rifle to have in Bad Company 2. And coming into the final game, I hoped it would perform the same way. There was some, some foreshadowing in the beta that the gun wouldn't function as it did in Bad Company 2, but a lot of the stuff in the beta was supposed to be you know, tweaked and whatnot, so there was high hopes for it. But it didn't get changed, it was still the same. So the AN-94, in my opinion, is an assault rifle I would not use. If you like burst fire weapons, I would definitely go with the M16A4 and the KH-2002 as an alternative to the AN-94. If you, if you like it and you make the gun work for you, that's, that's awesome. I cannot <laughs> after playing with the KH for so long. And that's, that's my opinion on that. As far as the 320 buckshot is concerned, I found that the 320 buckshot gets you one-shot kills from incredible ranges. It's actually, in, in a lot of situations, I don't see really sit here, but other maps I was playing with it, it seems to get um, seems to have less damage at close range, almost like 
as if it's acting like the grenade still has it takes time for it to charge, which it actually doesn't because it's not an explosive round or whatever. At least I don't believe it is. I don't understand exactly how it functions in the game because I usually use a med pack. But the 320 buckshot is a very, very useful setup if you're gonna have a squad with multiple multiple assaults. It's nice to have that that one person who is uh, just full on slaying all the time with that. So this has been episode of Make Me Rage, which really didn't didn't happen too much. I had to call out of the game, but um, guys, let me know what class setups you want to see in the comments below, and hopefully the third episode of this will be a lot more cohesive, and it'll be a lot better for all of us. You guys have a good night. Cheers.